the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. So, interesting things from Ice River. We've got a new KS0 model. Um, Ice River is in Dubai right now for their first conference, Blockchain Life 2023. It's going on today and tomorrow in Dubai. Um, and they are selling Ice Rivers on site. And it's first come, first serve. And it looks like they revealed a new KS0. Um, T Swift said, uh, posted a picture in my Discord at like 1.30 in the morning. You're up late, uh, T Swift. Um, so here's a picture of it, the real deal um, at the D Dubai conference. Um, so now let's look at the Ice River website and see what they've put publicly on their website about this. Um, they don't have the price listed. They're saying, they're calling it the KS0 Pro. So there's probably going to be no more regular KS0s anymore. Um, 200 giga hash, they're saying 90 watts. Um, so if you guys have been like messing with your ice rivers, doing the overclocks, um, anywhere from like 120 to 160 giga hash is what people have been, been getting. On my OG KS0, my first batch KS0, I've only been able to get 120 giga hash. And a lot of other people are getting the same results as me with the first batch KS0s. So probably some slightly different chips in there. Um, so the second batch KS0 that I got is getting 160 giga hash, no problem, running perfect on 160 giga hash. So um, maybe these are better chips, newer chips that they've developed um, that are just overclocked because now they have to kind of give you more hash rate for your money because they know the hash rate's going up. They can't keep charging um, the same price for the same amount of uh, hash rate because there's other companies coming out with miners. So um, now the KS0 is double the hash rate. So this is very interesting. Um, see if they got any more information here. No, it's pretty typical stuff. So the only new spec really is that it's going to be called Pro. It's 200 gig hash at 90 watts. We don't have the price, but for fun, Ice River put this out. Um, they've announced their news on their Twitter and they're saying, hey, Go ahead and guess the price. If you guess it and you're at the top 10 closest, um, they're going to give out a $100 coupon. So I guessed $5.99. And I said, hey, why don't you uh, send me one to test? And some of my other friends here, like Raymond Brown and Allset, agreed. And I said, send it. Send it to me, Ice River. I'll test it for you. So let's look at the Caspa hash rate. Um, we're at 51.7 petahash. It's doubled in the last month. More more than doubled. September, yeah, 25th, 24th, 24, 25 petahash. Now we're up to 51 petahash. So your rewards have not only been cut in half by the hash rate, but also there's the emission reduction every month. So whether or not these are worth it depends solely on the price. So I'm going to speculate wildly. I don't know if you guys have seen some of my earlier videos, but I do love to speculate wildly. None of it's financial advice. And I don't know what the price will be, but I love Coder of Stuff's Caspa Break Even Calculator. I've used it a lot in my other videos. I'll put this link in the description so you guys can play with it too. I like I'm just I like my guess of five ninety nine. Um, others have guessed that too. Mining Stacker put out a YouTube poll and he said five ninety nine too. I agree. It should be that or less. I be, I believe. So I'm not the only one who thinks it's going to be five ninety nine. So I'm just going to go with that for now, just for the heck of it. And we're talking about 0.2 Terra hash per second. And we're talking about, they're saying 90 watts. That's all I can go by because I don't, I don't have one in my hand, so I can't test it. We'll go with the 10 cent per kilowatt hour. Who knows what the hash rate will be in two weeks? Nobody knows. Um, network hash rate, pretty accurate, 5.2. And, oh, let's talk about the CASPA price too, guys. Um, I think it's almost at its all-time high. Not quite. Almost there. All-time high, briefly. So close though, 0 0.05283 or 0 0.05228. Um, it's just been pumping because of all the uh, Bitcoin ETF stuff, all the FOMO going on. So the whole market's green today. So pretty exciting. Um, we'll use the information that's in here. Um, let's go 5.2 to be more realistic at the moment. 5.2. Okay, so the break even would be August 25th, 2025. And that's with my speculative guess and uh, the network hash rate at 52 and the price of cash at 52. Kind of uh, like ironic, isn't it? 52, 52. Um, 
Now, a lot of people get mad at me because I don't include like tariffs and taxes and shipping. And it's like, I don't know for sure what your tariffs would be. If the machine cost is under a certain amount, there won't be any tariffs. And don't forget, you don't you don't have to buy these directly from Ice River anymore, guys. Like there's there's been tons of other resellers like um, Coastal Crypto. Um, I'll have an affiliate link uh, for them in the um, in the description. Um, you can get a discount if you use that link. And also my buddy T Swift in Discord. Um, you can you can hit him up. Um, you can hit Coastal Crypto up. There's a lot of other resellers that aren't going to charge you the tariffs. Um, and you go, go check out their websites for the price. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the um, Coder Stuff calculator in the description too. So you have all the tools you need to do your own research and guess your own prices. So I'm I'm just doing this at the break even of the machine alone um, because I also don't know what your cost of your your electricity is. So I get all kinds of all kinds of uh, comments like this is inaccurate because you didn't include tariffs. I'm like sometimes there is no tariffs, um, and I don't know your your electric cost could be twenty cents. You know I don't know what your your situation is. So I always provide the link to the calculator. So don't get mad at me. <laughs> and don't make comments about it. Uh, you can do your own research. Uh, this is just for fun, okay, guys? Don't don't why so serious? Why so serious, guys? Let's just have fun with this. Um, okay, let's say the machine is six ninety nine. Ice River, I don't recommend that because watch this. It says you'll never break even. Um, six ninety nine. It's kind of a wild price for such low amount of hash rate you get. Um, I I think that would be kind of. Uh, kind of not not advisable nobody wants to pay seven hundred dollars for uh, a ks0 even a ks0 pro anymore um it's just not really not really worth it um so yeah it says you're you're not going to break even if you scroll down it's like if everything stays the same we know it won't you know you'll end up making two cents per day in january of 2026 uh, that's so far out who knows what will happen for all we know caspa goes to like 50 cents or something or a dollar like that's probably hopium but it could we don't know what will happen so just be careful uh don't go don't go too nuts buying these machines uh the hash rate's going to go up still guys let's see 4.99 let's just for the hell of it the punch in 4.99 all right so one year from now approximately october 22nd 2024 it's saying you'll break even for just the machine with 200 gig hash, 90 watts at 10 cent kilowatt hour, if nothing st changes, um, except for this does actually take into account a little bit of a hash rate increase per day. So, um, but we have no idea. Um, it's doubled in one month um, because of the overclocks. And then, I mean, think about this too, guys. One more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, how do they get the 200 gig hash out of this thing? Probably better chips and overclocking. So what's to say, this is how it happened kind of the first time. Everyone got their KS zeros first, right? I got my KS zero way before my KS one. Um, so what's next? I mean, if they can double the hash rate on a KS zero, now we're talking about 90 watts, only another extra 20 watts from a stock KS zero to double the hash rate. So let's say a KS one, let's talk about a KS one. If this scales up from a KS0 to a KS1, for example, um, you do have a KS1 pulling about 770 watts to get to terahash if these chips are newer chips or better chips that they've developed that are more efficient. Um, but that's only if it scales up, and it actually might scale up better because we know that the KS0... Um, watt per hash is much less efficient than these bigger ice rivers. So it probably actually scales up better. Like you might be talking about two tera hash for 700 uh, watts or something like that. Like, or, or it may be even the same. You might be able to get the same wattage uh, for two tera hash. So this is why we should be worried about even this ROI calculator because it's a great calculator, but we don't know what developments are going on behind the scenes right now. These machines are just going to get more efficient. Um, they're not going to stop making them because they're making money off of them. And people want them because the people are making money off of them. So just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Um, this could be 80 or 100 
head of hash by Christmas. I mean, look at what happened in one month, doubled because of the overclocks. There's new um, wind miners out. There's new companies that are getting in this uh, Casper ASIC uh, game uh, because it's very profitable. So they're going for it. And now the cost of Casper is going up. The market's going up because the Bitcoin pump. So they're they're going to keep making these. And I mean, look at that double, double the hash rate. So anyway, um, that's just me speculating, but I'm trying to think ahead. Like um, there's a very good chance that these ice rivers are going to be outdated soon. Um, just speculation. I haven't heard anything myself, but when you can double the hash rate of a KS0 for only 20 more watts, they're definitely going to be able to do that with all these other ice rivers. So um, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Um, know your risk. Um, if you really believe in Casper, you want to hodl long term. That's my plan. Um, not financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. Um, it it was great having one of these uh, KS ones and KS zeros first batch because you know I, I was able to ROI really fast. Um, but that time is gone. Uh, at that time, um, the hash rate was around one peta hash. Let's go back. I got mine in June mid-June, about one peta hash. That's when I got my KS1. Um, and I got my KS0 before that. So it was basically around one peta hash. It is 50 times more the hash rate since since just June. So just want to make sure you guys know that. Anyway, I don't want to leave you guys on a sour note. So on a happier note, Caspa uh, did retrace to its all-time high while I was shooting this video. So there's there's still hope. Um, help me price appreciation. You're my only hope. <laughs> so anyway, I am excited that Ice River has new machines coming out. I like that they're giving Bitmain competition. Um, I actually really like that there's other companies getting in the game too. We want that competition because it helps keep the price of these ASICs down. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to keep it decentralized for the greater good the greater good <laughs>